I think we're rolling. Need a little. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, vinyl community. Bradley here. Uh, today, I think I'll just show a few albums. Uh, my brother's here visiting, so I told him to pick some out of my collection at random. Uh, I know Norman Maslow, a.k.a. Mazzy, he, d he does this on a regular basis. So, uh, I think he calls his whack-a-mole. So, I can't use that phrase. That's trademarked, I would assume. So, we'll just call it, uh, I think we have eight albums, I believe. Yeah. So, we'll call it eight for nine. I think today's the ninth of June, whatever. So, he picked, I had him pick one CD out and seven albums. So, let's see what he picked out. I'll basically show them and whatever, tell a little bit about it. Oh, for the CD, it is Aqualung by Jethro Tull. Excellent album. I never had it on vinyl. Uh, but it's a very good album on Chrysalis Records. Of course, it's got Aqualung, Cross-Eyed Mary, Locomotive Breath. Those are some uh, really good songs on there. Okay, number two. Aha! Uh -huh. Weezer. The Blue Album. This is probably my favorite Weezer album. Uh, I, I had it on CD, which I still do. I had that for... Uh, I got that back in the early 2000s. Every song on here is really nice. Uh, probably my favorites are... I like Undone, the sweater song. Uh, and probably, well, Say It Ain't So, what a bunch of good songs. Actually, the last song, Only in Dreams, that's one of my favorite uh, Weezer songs. This was produced by Rick Okasik of The Doors, so it's a good album. Next album. Oh, we got a Beatles. It's the Hey Jude album. I think this was released after the, I believe after the White album. It's uh, more or less, a, it, it is on uh, Capitol, on Capitol label, originally on the Apple label. And I've talked about this album before. It's uh, basically it's got the stereo versions of these songs that were never on an American album by Capitol. So you've got Hey Jude, Revolution, Paperback Writer, I Should Have Known Better, Lady Madonna, Can't Buy Me Love, Don't Let Me Down, uh, and on and on. Uh, so it kind of spans the whole career, basically. It's got a little more of the, uh, kind of like the Let It Be sessions, uh, like Don't Let Me Down and Old Brown Shoe, stuff like that. But uh, this is a really good album. Very enjoyable. Okay, next album. It is a jazz album. It is Jimmy McGriff, Countdown. This is on Milestone Records, uh, 1983. This is recorded really nice. Um, I picked it up used. 
probably last year. Uh, the people in the band, I really don't know too many of these other players, but uh, it's got a good version of uh, Fats Domino, I'm walking, uh, since I fell for you. So, pretty good album. It's more of a modern sounding, uh, nicely recorded jazz album. Next album, another jazz album. Actually, I showed this a while back. Uh, Randy Weaver uh, sent me this. Uh, there was a small defect in it, uh, so he sent it to me. <laughs> and I, yeah, like I said, it was a really uh, very small defect. I could barely detect it. Uh, this was part of a, I think, a five album uh, Coltrane set box set uh, I think the recordings he made in 1963 so this album is actually the uh, contains the the album with uh, Johnny Hartman this is not the original cover it's the uh, cover for this particular box set so the cover is completely different but it includes uh, that whole album with Johnny Hartman plus I think it's got a couple extra bonus tracks maybe more instrumental on here so uh, this was on impulse or verve so I was always going to pick this up anyhow and uh, Randy said he had a extra copy and wanted to know if I wanted it so of course I said yes Next album. Well, this album, I have... Actually, I never bought this. <laughs> it's a Sting. Is it the uh, Dream of the Blue Turtles? Uh, actually, I think uh, my mom and dad, they had exchange students for many years. I think they had like, what, 13, 14 probably, and uh, from all different countries. And I think this was one of their albums, and instead of taking it back back home with it, with them, they left it. Uh, excellent album. Uh, if you remember, If You Love Somebody, Set Them Free. That's an excellent song. Really good sounding album. I probably should put it on the turntable. I do remember it's very clean. So, the next album, which I'm going to ask, have to ask my brother about this. I'm not entirely sure. This is Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Brain Salad Surgery. Opens up like that. And I'm, I am going to ask him. Did you buy this originally? I might have that. Yeah. I'm thinking he, he never bought a lot of records, but the ones he bought I really liked. And, uh, when he left to uh, move to California, of course, he left a lot of stuff behind. So I'm pretty sure he bought this. This is a, I love this album. Uh, Still You Turn Me On, uh, Benny the Bouncer, Carnival, uh, Three Impressions, super album. And it's really good shape. I've only got a couple other, uh, well, I got a few other ELP, but uh, that's good. Last album. So this is the eighth one. Okay, this is a jazz album. 
and <laughs> well I will show you what it is it's Joe Lovano quartets uh, this is volume one recorded at the Village Vanguard in New York this is I think it's double album yeah and actually this was I think originally released in 1996 and uh, like I said this is volume one yeah recorded in March of 1994 uh, this was actually a part of uh, Blue Notes 75th anniversary releases I think this was included in also volume two uh, to be honest I have not played this album very much. Uh, it's more of a, I don't know, just a little bit freer uh, style. It's live. Um, I usually just put the other albums on. So, but it's a good one. Sounds really good. I like it. Okay, I think that takes care of whatever I called this video. Seven for eight or eight for nine or something like that. So, uh, I asked my brother if he wanted to be in the video and he said no, he didn't want to show his face. So, and after looking at his face, I probably tend to agree. So, <laughs> a lot of people show dogs and cats yeah <laughs> so anyhow it's a nice day it's going to be uh warming up today and for the next week or so so we'll probably spend the afternoon uh maybe go to antique shop and stop at a little pub or something and uh just enjoy our time so i think that's all i have to say for today so so long, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.